President Uru Kenyatta is on Wednesday expected to join other African heads of state and government in Kigali, Rwanda, to sign a landmark agreement to create a continental free trade area. The African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, aims to establish a single market that will spur industrialization, infrastructural development, economic diversification and trade. The new agreement is also expected to increase intra-Africa trade beyond the current 13% and improve the prospects of the African continent to attract huge investments. The creation of the FCFTA provides new export opportunities for African products whose combined GDP stands at US$3 trillion, covering over 1.2 billion people. The agreement also covers issues on non-tariff barriers, technical barriers to trade, customs procedures and a framework on transit issues between countries. Presidents Kenyatta, Rwanda's Paul Kagame and Yauri Museveni of Uganda have been very instrumental towards the creation of the Continental Trading Bloc. The FCFTA agreement will be signed during an extraordinary summit of the African Union at the Kigali Convention Center. The new agreement creates a borderless Africa in terms of trade and goods, services, jobs, investment, free movement of people, intellectual property rights and competitiveness. Although many countries from Africa have embraced the new trading bloc, only 22 out of the 54 nations of the continent are required to sign and ratify the new protocol to make it operational after it is domesticated by respective parliaments of each country. Various ministers of trade and economic experts from Africa described the new trading bloc as a game-changer. They were, on Tuesday, upbeat that the FCFTA has the potential of becoming the largest free trade area in the world due to the populous region it serves, the huge resources and youthful human capital. Foreign Affairs CS Monica Juma said the new agreement makes Africa the new theater in matters of trade where the continent will be able to move its goods everywhere and among countries. We are moving from country-based markets to the huge continental-based market. We are opening the continent to itself and to everybody. The CS said, adding that goods cannot be moved without the movement of people. Industrialization Cabinet Secretary Aden Mohammed said the creation of the FCFTA is a major milestone where all countries, including Kenya, can freely access huge markets like those offered by South Africa and Nigeria. Those starting businesses in Africa, said the CS, will no longer